cycle, soldiers from the company are selected for awards based on their achievements in the various areas of one station unit training. All of the soldiers in the company are eligible for these awards and have competed for them over the past 22 weeks. The drill sergeant of the cycle is presented to the drill sergeant who best expresses the qualities of leadership, honor, and whose performance contributed most to the successful completion of the 19 kilo training cycle. This cycle's recipient is Drill Sergeant Richard Bach from Long Island, New York for third platoon. The Association of the United States Army Patent Award is presented to the soldier of each training cycle who best expresses the qualities of leadership, honor, initiative, loyalty, high morale, courage, positive attitude, and consistent competitive spirit, which inspires peers and cadre. This cycle's awardee is Private Juan R. Soto from Londonderry, New Hampshire. The Armor and Cavalry Leadership Award is presented to the soldier who has shown the most leadership skills throughout the cycle and the potential for future leadership roles. This cycle's awardee is Private First Class Mark Freeman from Atlanta, Georgia. The High Physical Fitness Award is presented to the soldier who achieved the highest on the final Army Combat Fitness Test. This test includes three rep maximum deadlift, standing power throw, T push-ups, the sprint drag carry, leg tuck, and the two mile run. This cycle's awardee with a score of 596 out of 600 points is Private First Class Gregory S. Ducey from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. The High Pistol Marksmanship Award is presented to the soldier who achieves the highest score on the M17 Pistol Marksmanship course. This cycle's awardee, with a score of 30 out of 30 points, is Private Gary J. Pogue from Olathe, Kansas. The High Rifle Marksmanship Award is presented to the soldier who achieves the highest score on the M4 Carbine Rifle Marksmanship course. This cycle's awardee with a score of 35 out of 40 points is Private Gavin, Gavin J. Hubbard from Springfield, Eugene, Oregon. The instructor of the cycle is presented to the tank instructor who contributed most to the successful mission of training 19 kilo armor crewmen. This cycle's recipient is Sergeant First Class William Yingling from El Paso, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for all the awardees. The leaders most responsible for training your soldiers are the drill sergeants. The Department of the Army carefully selects each drill sergeant from the top 10% of all staff sergeants and sergeants first class. Reciting the drill sergeant creed today are the senior drill sergeants of Enforcer Company 181 Armor. The drill sergeant creed, I am a drill sergeant. I will assist each individual in their effort become a highly motivated, well-disciplined, physically and mentally fit soldier, capable of defeating any enemy on today's modern battlefield. I will instill pride in all I trade, pride in self, in the Army, and in country. I will assert each soldier meets and maintains the Army standard, military and bearing, and courtesy, consistent with the highest traditions of the U.S. Army. I will lead by example Never requiring a soldier to attempt any task I would not do myself. But first, last, and always, I am an American soldier going to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. I am a drill sergeant. This will defend.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Soldier's Creed is the standard for all soldiers to live by. The Soldier's Creed helps soldiers understand that despite very diverse backgrounds, all soldiers are warriors and members of a team. We invite all soldiers, both past and present, to stand and join us as the Armor and Cavalry Leadership Awardee, Private First Class Mark Freeman, will lead his fellow soldiers in reciting the creed.